students, my name is Pooja Bhagat. I am assistant professor at Biyani Girls College, Jaipur. I welcome you all on the behalf of GuruKPU.com. Today my topic is productivity of ecosystem. So what is the productivity of ecosystem? Productivity of ecosystem refers to the rate of production. That is the amount of organic matter accumulated in any unit time. So the production rate is the productivity of ecosystem. This can be divided into different parts. The first one is primary productivity. So what is the primary productivity? The primary productivity is the rate at which the radiant energy is stored. And who stores this energy? This can be done by the producers, chemosynthetic and photosynthetic activity. Okay? This can be divided into two parts. The GPP which stands for gross primary productivity and the second one is NPP which stands for the net primary productivity. The GPP means the gross primary productivity is the total rate of photosynthesis including the organic matter used up in respiration. So, so this is the total rate of photosynthesis that's why it depends on the chlorophyll content of plant or producers. Okay, uh, so this is also called as total photosynthesis or total assimilation. The second one of the primary productivity is the NPP. The net primary productivity is the rate of storage of organic matter in plant tissue. Uh, we can understand this by this uh, formula that this is the GPP, the total productivity, the total photosynthesis of a plant or a producer. When we reduce the respiration energy from this, we can get the net NPP, the net primary productivity. Okay? So this is the total increase of biomass, that's why it is called as net primary productivity. We can uh, understand this by this figure. The look here is sun and the total radiant energy stored in plant is called as GPP, gross primary productivity. This is the total storage of energy, radiant energy in plant tissue or producers. We can call it producers. From this, some energy is lost in energy, uh, respiration, which denote which we denote as R, and the other is stored in growth and uh, and used up in growth and reproduction which is available to consumers that is called as net primary productivity. Uh, this net primary productivity is same as here. The second productivity is secondary productivity. Uh, as we know that this net primary productivity is available to consumers that's why some part of it is stored in consumers. The stored part is called as secondary productivity and the remaining part is called as net productivity. That's why the storage of organic matter not used up by heterotrophs and stored at producers level is called as net productivity. So this was the concept of productivity of ecosystem. Hope you like it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. For more information you can log on to our website GuruKable.com.